Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we have Simon Howe, who is the Vice President of Sales for the APAC region for Logrhythm. So Logrhythm is a cybersecurity company which combines behavior analytics, security, security orchestration, automation, and more to deliver secure end-to-end -end services. Welcome to the Jam, Simon. Thank you, Nick. Pleasure. Okay, so to kick off with this jam, could you just tell me for um, any IT or security managers out there who haven't worked with Logrhythm, could you give me just a brief overview of what your key products and offerings are? Sure thing. So uh, Logrhythm was established um, nearly 20 years ago now, you know, head office out of, the, out of the US with operations worldwide. And we'd be typically badged as a SIEM, next gen SIEM, security information and event management. Fundamentally, our role is to provide organizations with pervasive visibility to security activity across the network and to allow rapid detection and response to, to threats. We're combining in the platform log management, SIEM, behavioral analytics, UEBA, and SOAR, the orchestration and automation, in a, you know, in a single integrated offering. Think of I like to sort of paint a mental picture. Think of Logarithm as the engine, the technology engine that's powering a SOC or a security operations capability, right? It's the threat detection, the threat investigation and hunting, incident response, SOC management. And we're all focused that, that one of the key principles in Logarithm is how do we do that in the most efficient way possible? You know, how do we enable the analysts to be able to do more? How do we enable a lean team to achieve that outcome? by driving more of the functionality into the technology itself. Right, yeah. Um, and could you tell me what the most recent improvements or innovations in your products have been? So, you know, 20 years in, founders still in the business, innovation has been something Logarithm has prided itself on over, over the years, and we continue to do that, we continue to innovate. Um, an obvious you know, step for us recently has been extending the delivery options to SaaS and to what we call Logarithm Cloud, so having a fully SaaS offering. So you can get anything from you know, physical TIN and Logarithm appliances through software, through private cloud, or even to our SaaS offering. So that's a, a fairly, I guess, logical but recent innovation. Um, importantly, we did just recently launch our version 7.5, you know, again, enhancing analyst workflow and additional visualizations into the platform there. Um, probably, you know, a key area that I would call out is in a lot of environments today, in fact, most environments today, the data that we're collecting is from, you know, their hybrid environments is on-prem systems, there are hosted systems, there's increasingly cloud-based and fully SaaS-based offerings. So the telemetry is coming from a, a multitude of sources, um, which means that the log data and the telemetry is also you know, from very different and even unstructured formats. It's not just you know, syslog or flat files off mainframe anymore, right? So, so a recent innovation there is our release of what we call Open Collector, which is based on Elastic Beats, but effectively enables you to ingest you know, any unstructured log format, JSON is a good example, right? And so today that just opens up and ensures that, you know, we can provide visibility throughout that, you know, that cloud-based uh, vector as well, all right? And the other thing I actually made a note of to mention here too, which isn't a product innovation, but more of a, you know, more of a, a business relationship one is logarithm community. So that's increasingly becoming um, a forum that our customers and partners are leveraging and relying on to share additional information, you know, share updates that they provided, new dashboards. It's a, a, a forum for us to share that data, but also for customers and partners to share, you know, developments that they've um, implemented themselves as well. So, yeah, I wanted to call that out. Hmm. Speaking of uh, development, um, what trends are your product development teams like laser focused on next? Great question. And that is, I've touched on the SOAR capability before and for, and you know to clarify the acronym because us security software companies companies love our acronyms but uh, SOAR meaning security orchestration automation and response and this is now a fully integrated capability within the logarithm platform what you know again thinking of that sort of that mental picture I just think of SOAR as finally we're getting the product to do something for itself it's a little bit like you know your car putting the brakes on for you if you're you know if you're heading straight for a lamppost, it's, this is now about the, 
the, the, the platform actually taking actions based on its own, you know, its own intelligence. For example, um, we might detect, you know, ransomware like behavior within the environment rather than just triggering an alarm, which we will obviously do. We can also automatically contain that endpoint. Or we might, for example, you know, disable a non whitelisted service that starts running. If, for example, Internet Explorer starts connecting to the Internet. Sensitive data exfil, for example, we might disable a user or user account. So there's a myriad of, of uh, options within that, but that whole workflow, um, that ability to make the analysts more efficient and to kind of take a lot of the mundane tasks off of them um, is, a, is a key focus in terms of product development at the moment, right? We're constantly hearing about the, uh, the stretched resources within most organizations, the lean teams, the lack of cyber expertise, and what analysts you do have, you want them focused on the critical tasks. And SOAR, um, in terms of its application in the logarithm platform, is all about taking away those mundane tasks and having the analysts focused on the critical elements, right? We touched on cloud before and cloud enablement and our open collector allowing ingest from, uh, you know, from those unstructured data sources. Absolutely, that's a key focus as well, ensuring that from a visibility perspective, you know, there are no dark corners, you know, we're getting a full 360 degree view, you know, whatever the makeup of your environment on prem hosted or cloud, right. Um, again, being succinct here, or wanting to, to keep it brief, OT, operational technologies, again, um, obviously, I think we're well aware of the um, increasing encroachment of, of cyber threat and activity into that arena. Um, that's an important focus for us in terms of developing um, use cases within that OT environment as well. And it's a particularly interesting area as well in terms of some of the funky use cases that have developed there. Um, and finally, I would add managed services. So not every customer um, is looking to you know, deploy this technology for themselves. And increasingly, um, a customer is you know, taking on a managed service. And so the logarithm platform, multi-tenancy from the ground up natively, um, very much suits that, uh, that MSSP scenario as well. And I would say that's a, that's a key focus today also. Right, yeah. Um, and so we're quite focused on the ANZ market. So what infrastructure or resources do you have mm -hmm. in the uh, ANZ region? I'm pleased to say, now that I'm sort of seven years in, more than we had seven years ago, because that was pretty much just me. So today, um, sales teams out of Sydney and Melbourne, uh, which includes you know, the sales engineers, the architects, the brains of the operation, if you like, also professional services, which are, which are out of Melbourne. Um, but we're all, a, we're effectively a virtual satellite from our regional hub, which is in Singapore. And that's when, that's where all of the, there's an extensive technical support operation there, marketing, also professional services and other sales teams. So. We're obviously operating a follow the sun approach with support. Um, but yeah, that's the lay of the land in terms of you know, local resources. Perfect, cool. And if a partner or enterprise end user wanted to engage with a logarithm, what is the best way? Well, um, we pride ourselves on, on rapid response in the platform, but obviously uh, as an organization as well. So, you know, obvious locations, websites, a great place to go just to, you know, just to get a hold of us, just to make contact. Uh, we've got an extensive partner community. So we would encourage a customer to, you know, check with their, you know, their reseller partner, their security service provider partner. Um, but absolutely, you know, we very much welcome and encourage people to call us directly. You know, we're very organized. We'll soon put you in the right place. So use the socials, you know, LinkedIn, Twitter, you should find me very easily on there or any of our team. And we encourage you just to just to hit us up, we can point you in the right direction very easily, plenty of resources to, to support you. And we welcome the interest, you know. Um, so anytime we look forward to hearing from folks. Perfect, cool, thank you. So that concludes today's 10 minute IT Jam with Logarithm VP of Sales for Apex, Simon Howe. Thank you so much for joining me today, Simon. Thanks very much, Nick. It's been a pleasure.